good evening. Thank you for stopping by Healing Conversations with Z. I'm Suri Bibi. And this is going to be a Divine Masculine reading. I'm going to do Divine Masculine first to see what, what the energies are for him. And then I'm going to do a reading for Divine Feminine to see where her energies are. And then, depending on... I gotta find the right cards. I'm a, I'm gonna do a music reading. I don't know what what I'm doing yet though. What cards I'm using? But that's what's going on. Um, you all are welcome here. Um, your spirit guides are welcome here. This place is protected. Um, with um, any negative people, places, things, energies, whatever, we're banishing you out from whence you've come. The, the divine has us covered. And so we're going to get the reading started shortly. I'm, I've shuffled when I was off camera, but I'm actually um, just shuffling on camera or so that you can see. I don't really know if you can see. I can't see the way I have this set up. Um, I'm using the um, spirit, sacred spirit reading cards. And I'm going to actually, I haven't used these spirit animal cards in a while. I'm going to bring them back into rotation. I have a lot of cards that I haven't, I haven't been. A lamb. Something about a lamb. I won't keep that. It fell out, it fell out for a reason. Um, this is for Divine Masculine, so I'm going to look that up in a minute. I'll cut the cards in a second, but Lamb, I think that's Earth Energy. Yep. Yeah, this is Earth Energy. Lamb, peaceful, prophetic, patient. The lamb is the bearer of an important message. It can, its contents can only be heard when a deep level of quiet has been established. Lamb energy is the honest guide you hear from an old friend, a young child, or sometimes a surprising stranger. Though the lamb's message may channel through another person, the wisdom resonates within you. It will repeat and reverberate until you listen. Approach this gentle creature with utmost patience and reverence. Truth is a gift. Sit still, listen, and receive. Yeah, this is for a divine masculine that's not paying attention. So somebody's telling him to do this. When, when he's in balance, knowingness, inner peace. When he's out of balance, he's quiet, timid, and concerned. And to bring into consideration meditation and listening. So somebody's... This is a, this divine masculine needs to listen. Listen to a message he's being given. Okay, let me let's pull some cards. All right, can I have? Let's start with five, and if I need more, I'll pull more. Can I have five? Spirit. Divine Feminine has entered the premises. This is Divine Masculine's reading. Oh, okay. So far, this is what's going on. Has a new abundant beginning with Divine Feminine and Ten of Cups so far. Let's keep it moving. I'll, I'll ask for some more. I need two more. Justice. Okay. This is looking good. Divine mask on. He's listening, apparently. Knight of Swords. Messages. Fast moving.
three of wands. Two of cups. Oh, wow. Look at this. All right. Seven of Wands. Okay. The Hangman. One more. messages and on the bottom the chariot I'll take it because that's some so the divine masculine is listening to this message to move forward whereas he wasn't before I mean getting backstabbed stabbed in the back okay let's let's go, keep it going looking at this somebody's divine masculine or this could be you. This could be the divine. You could be the divine masculine. This could be your message or your counterpart. But for this is for divine masculine has a has been given a new pentacle on the earthly plane, and it has something to do with his counterpart, the high priestess, and his happiness. Ten of cups, and why this was because of justice. So he has something coming it was a fast coming yeah look at that night is looking the night is looking at all of this so the night is bringing all this information of justice happiness and the high priestess and this pentacle new uh, abundant beginning on the earthly plane so this is this is what's going on and because of this message now divine masculine can make he can make a passionate decision. He can take action on a decision with this pentacle, this new pentacle. And because he's doing that, he's able to have to, uh, offer a cup to his divine counterpart. And she can offer it to him. And that's showing here because the high priestess is right here up above. So there, he's offering her a cup. I think she has her cup already and he's just offering her his. But she's here. Divine Feminine is in, in the Divine Masculine's reading. Now, even though Divine Masculine wants this happiness, there are people... It's, it's always going to be somebody that doesn't want you to have this happiness. So there's there are these people here. One, two, three, four, five, six of wands. Seven, actually. Seven, seven of wands. They're trying to mess up his, his ten of cups. But he's holding on to this one cup to protect him from whoever it is that's trying to mess up his ten of cups and so he can still have his uh six of wands victory he can still have his his victory and once he goes within after you know dealing with this issue whatever it may be justice will come his way he just has to go within to deal with this issue and like I said, the message has been coming and here. The message are coming. The, this is what's coming this way. The messages. Or are they moving the other way? Yeah, they're moving. You know, this is how it looks like it's moving. Looks like it's going like this. It looks like everything's going like that. So, that's pretty good. That, you know, it's a pretty good message. And this is the chariot that's allowing him to move forward. And he's listening. He is actually being patient and listening to the messages that he's getting. So I'm going to clarify this. I'm going to clarify them. Um, it's a good reading, Divine Masculine. It's a good message. I could leave it like that, but, you know, I'm going to clarify and, um, Ace of Pentacles. So, 
I'm not taking that because I just noticed it was a car flipped up. And I'm not. That's part is part of the reading. I hate when that happens. <laughs> it's just weird when it happens. It's the world card. So uh, that's what's happening on this earthly plane. This new pentacle. And it's assisting his world and the high priestess. There was some energy causing some um, a burden. There was a burden, something, some type of issue was causing a burden, burden for the lovers, causing a burden. So they're they're walking away, but they're not walking away from each other. They're walking away so they can uh, work on their happiness. And so let's see what this ten of cups is. The burden was someone being selfish. This is the selfish card, Ten of Cups. And that was what was the burden on the real, um, for Divine Feminine. And somebody got kicked off the wheel. This is uh, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, being selfish and whoever was, this Divine Masculine was being selfish and he was dibbing and dabbing in other things. And that is what has caused justice to come. And I'm going to take it because it popped out like that. I'm going to take it. Yeah. He, this is this pentacle issue. This pentacle issue, whatever is going on, is going to allow him to have a, ev a fair give and take. Whereas, I don't know, he must have been dealing with some issues in the past. And that's what was affecting the wheel. And it might some people might not get get anything. King of Pentacles. Yep. The message from the night is saying that the King of Pentacles has a, is coming. So this divine masculine, this Ace of Pentacles, is allowing him to become a King of Pentacles. And here's the Justice card again. So whatever was going on, he's receiving the justice that he needs. Whereas, like I said, he's making a passionate decision to work, to move, deciding to offer this to a cup, this cup, his cup to his feminine. But there are, excuse me, there are people still fighting him. There's the seven of um, wands again. It's people, people always, they don't want you to be happy. But he's, look at that. He has made his decision. He's, he's turned his back on those people because he's made the decision he's going to offer his cup to his pentacle I mean his cup to his uh his counterpart here's another king sound like an emperor is coming into the room he's offering not he's and he he's offering his full passion and his cup to this counterpart And that he's holding the, he's holding that wand already. Look at that. And this is allowing him to be in his passion, a new passionate, a new his he'll be able to take new action toward this relationship. Now what was going on? Oh wow, two cards are popping up with this defensive behavior. It was heartache. And it was um uh, Knight of Wands is um, feeling bound, but he don't look like he's feeling bound. He don't look like he's he's looking at that. He's looking at that like nope, nope, that's not me, because he's holding on to his wand and he's moving away. He's moving toward being the king, because he knows he's a higher fan. He knows this. This is Divine Masculine is making his way again into the reading. Divine Feminine is that he's, I don't know if he's going to actually come in the reading, but he's shown his face. He knows who his counterpart is. Now, he's going into hangman mode because of this fighting. He is a lot of wands here. People are fighting Divine Masculine. They do not want him to make this decision. They are adamant at keeping him 
from being with his counterpart, the high priestess. Can't make this up. They fighting because they don't want him to be with the high priestess. Eight of Wands. He's being told to work on it. Work on these pentacles. You are because he's the king of pentacles. He's the king of pentacles and he's the king king of um um wines. So he's almost in his um he's building the emperor. And he's working on building things with his queen of cups. Interesting. I'm going to say that. He's moving forward to his Queen of Cups. And look at that. Right underneath there is the King of Swords. I'm telling you. The, the masculine is trying to get it together. I, I, I'm liking this. I'm not going to pull. I'm going to pull from this deck. And this is the um, Sacred Spirit reading cards. Let's see what comes out. Just gonna take what comes out. Okay. Whatever is going on, he was dealing with a dark night of the soul issue when he wasn't paying attention. Life brings new meaning. Yeah. Got the ace of pentacles, got the ace of um Ace of Wands showed if it's facing around here. Um, there's a lot going on for the Divine Masculine. All right. Lead the way. Light your own path. Yeah, this is a 23. It was a 5. So he's, was, you know, he's gotten this number because it was a lot of fighting. Five of um, people. A lot of wands. He needs to lead his own way. Whereas people have been trying to tell him what to do. And third eye vision, which is 36, this is going to cause him to end this cycle of all this fighting. Reclaim your mind. Yeah, people have been passionately bothering him. And he needs to be patient like this lamb. This, Like I said, this lamb was telling him what to do. Telling him what to do. Yeah, because like I said in the past, he was dealing with um, dark night of the soul energy. Um. into that um looks promising for a divine masculine i'm gonna pull a card from here and then it'll be it i was gonna end the reading but i would i did bring this deck out for a reason we need a um an ascendant master there it is already empower service whatever divine masculine is going to do is going to be empower service and that's what that three of wands is about passionate make, making a passion action he's he has he's going to be doing something this is mass ascendant master yoga yoganada and roganite rodenite and this is a seven a seven is building on something so um Ascending Master Lao Tzu and Zen Sight, Descending Power. Um, Divine Masculine is going to be using this power to help him get out of this cycle because it's a 10. He's getting out. He's ending the cycle. And this is a 11. Oh, oh, you know, that's a good number. Ascending Master Kuan Yin and Pearl. He's a Divine Rebel. Yep. So... I think this is going to, I'm going to stop your reading at this point. Um, I want to thank you all for stopping by Healing Conversations for this reading. Um, if you are a Divine Masculine, you know, this is looking really good for you. Um, this is an excellent reading. I'm glad that you're moving, you're moving away. You're listening and you're, you know, moving away from the drama. All right. You all take care. Thank you for stopping by Healing Conversations with Z. Peace.